Hello, my name is Ruth Grigg from Dyslexia Services. In this video, we're going to look at all stops and how we use them. Generally, very simple, so you should pick this up fairly easy. So, full stops, we use them at the end of a sentence. I'm sure you all know that. Let's read this sentence here and see if it makes sense. The family ran outside, the house next door was burning. The problem with this is it doesn't have full stops, it doesn't have any pauses in it, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. But if we read it again with full stops in, it will just be a bit clearer about the meaning. So let's go. The family ran outside, full stop. The house next door was burning, full stop. Now, this makes more sense. Why would they be running outside? Because the house next door was burning. You don't have to put because there, but it just gives it more clarity. So if you make these short phrases, put your full stops in, then it makes more sense. So let's look at another way we can use full stops, abbreviations. Uh, I've added a few more on here. So we have St. Peter's Road. So instead of writing out the whole word saint, we just put S-T, St. Peter's Road. We can also use S-T for street, but you will know um, which one to use and where, just by the context. Okay, look at this next one. Mr. John Cook. Now, we don't normally write Mr. out. We normally put an abbreviation, which is capital M, R, full stop, Mr. That full stop lets you know that it is an abbreviation. Mr. John Cook. I've added a few more here. DR. Note that at the beginning of the abbreviation, it's always a capital, then lowercase and a full stop. So DR is short for doctor. Um, RD is short for road. I'm sure there are many more that you can think of. Perhaps you can pause and write down some other abbreviations that you know. Don't forget to start it with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. So let's see if we can finish these sentences, shall we, with a full stop. Stephen climbed. Let's see, what could we put there? Stephen climbed. to the top of the hill. And he felt exhausted. So I've got a comma there, I don't want that comma there, do I? Do I want? Full stop, there you go. There'd be no gap though between these two, just an ordinary finger space. Perhaps you can think of a sentence of your own. There you go, full stop. Okay. So we're going to look at these next couple of sentences. I'd love it for you to make up your own sentences here. So I'll give you a blank copy of this so you can practice this on your own. So here we go. Um, ah. I'm going to make up a sentence. Stephen climbed up to the top of the hill. He felt very exhausted. There we go. This time I'm putting an exclamation mark. So that shows that there's emphasis on this last bit. 
there'd be no gap, by the way, between this part and this part, just a finger space. So Stephen climbed up to the top of the hill, full stop. He felt very exhausted. Exclamation mark. Let's try the next one. Sally won. Sally won the competition. She had the best exhibition in the show. There you go. I've got a little bit of emphasis here on the end, but here we have the statement, Sally won the competition. So you know what it is she's won and what this is all about. Full stop. Again, no gap between this bit and this bit, just a finger space. Okay, the horse, what can we say about the horse? Let's see. I'd like you to make up your own sentences though, to have a try at this on your own. Make up your own sentences, put your full stops in the right places, okay? The horse bolted. The thunder storm scared him. Ooh. I don't normally end everything with an exclamation mark, but in this I am. The horse bolted full stop. That means he ran, he ran out the stable where he just ran because he was really scared. The thunderstorm scared him. That sort of explains what happened. So you can make up your own sentence about that. Please do, I'd love to see them. Next one. Kevin is the best, the best what? I'm going to put runner. He wins every race. Or every race in his year. There you go. Kevin is the best runner. So explain what this is about. It's about Kevin. What's he best at? Being a runner. Full stop. He wins every race in his year. The fireman appeared carrying. See, what's he carrying? I'm going to put the cat. He'd already rescued everybody else. And this time he went back in and he appeared carrying the cat. I'm going to make this a simple sentence. There you go. Again, no space, just a little one here. So that's a really simple one. Dogs love to, um, I'm going to put here, exercise. They love running and walking in the park. There you go. Dogs love to exercise, full stop. They love running and walking in the park. So on the next bit, we're going to put the full stops in the right places. Let's look at the first one. It says, can you put full stops in the correct places in the sentences below? What else do you need to add? So you know, hopefully, at the beginning of every sentence, you need to add a capital letter. So make sure you do. Okay, here goes. Let's put our full stops in. Sarah walked up to the door. She slowly turned the handle. So obviously, you need one there on the end. But where else? Let's find the first phrase. Sarah walked up to the door. Full stop. She slowly turned the handle. So this one needs a capital letter. Okay, see if you can figure this out. The children sat in silence. The teacher gave out the test papers. Obviously, we need one there. Where else? Okay, here. The children sat in silence. This needs a capital letter. 
children sat in silence. I mean, not the teacher. The children sat in silence. Full stop, capital letter. The teacher gave out the test papers. Okay, let's look at the next one. The weather in winter is cold. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it can snow too. So this could be two sentences or even three sentences. So I'm going to put a dot there at the end. We know that one's finished. Let's look at the phrases where we would take a breather. The weather in winter is cold. Full stop. Sometimes, capital, it rains. We could put a full stop there and a capital here. Sometimes it can snow too. Okay, number four. The London Eye is a great giant, sorry, Ferris wheel. It was built in 1999. It is 135 meters tall. So, Again, full stop on the end. But this has several sentences. Let's see where the phrases are. The London Eye is a giant ferret wheel. There you go. You just made a statement there. So let's put a full stop there. Capitalize this bit here. It was built in 1999. Full stop, another phrase, capital letter. It is 135 meters tall. So perhaps you can try writing some sentences at home um, and remembering to put full stops in the right places in your capital letters afterwards. The more you practice this, the better you're going to get. So I'm hoping that this little video has helped you a little bit um i look forward to seeing you in the next movie and um, please get back to me if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to share with me that'll be great thank you and goodbye for now